Hey y'all, so I'm back from the gym. So I'm just drinking a quick little shake because it really be taking me an hour before I like eat actual breakfast. So I'd be just trying to get the protein in my system. Today I did legs. But anywho, I just wanted to talk to y'all really quick. I didn't even have y'all on the tripod because um, my camera was just charging. I just took it off the charger. But basically, I just wanted to talk to y'all you know this is this is just me getting my thoughts out but basically i was feeling really badly yesterday um like right before i went to sleep last night it was so random um i like looked up when am i gonna meet the right person and yes i'm one of those people who literally just google the most random things in the google search engine just trying to like feel seen and like you know reassure myself because I don't know who else is gonna do it. If it's not me reassuring myself, who else is going to do it? But yeah, I was like looking up that and then I came across this article that was so well written. I've been on this site before. I feel like whoever the person is, she writes like things for women when, you know, trying to date and stuff. And a lot of her stuff that I read, I'm just like, wow, like she is on point with it, like seriously. But the article that I came across was basically talking about how like you know maybe you haven't met the right person because you have to do some you know obviously inner work you know but the points that she made in the article were so spot on and I was just like wow like these are things that I have thought about you know as a young woman who has tried to date and let me just go to the article I'm actually gonna link it because it was such a good read so some of the stuff that it was saying it starts with like how does it start because this was like very long i read this whole thing so it was like three reasons so she said um oh it was saying you actually prefer being alone and you know low-key there's some truth to that um i'm an avoidant person i feel like i'm just used to being by myself a lot anyway and like i grew up in a situation where i was always kind of by myself just because that's where i found my peace um in my household and so i think subconsciously it's like i do like being alone but it's like logically i don't want to be alone because what it like i'm young i'm pretty um i look good like why shouldn't i be with somebody you feel me and why shouldn't i be enjoying life with somebody you feel me like that's what i really want actually so i do have an essence about myself where i'm very comfortable alone but like that's the beauty of trying to be with somebody because you have to try and um there's things that you work on when you really want something to work and you you work toward it you do it so that was something that I've already known about myself that I've had to kind of come to terms with because it's just like if you want to be with somebody you have to actually like men and it's so crazy because I was randomly on TikTok this weekend and I came across a video that was like viral and some guy was literally saying the best girlfriends are the ones that don't even like men for real and it's just like wait what? how could that even be true because if you want something to work you have to actually like the gender i don't know that's just me these are my thoughts and opinions hold on y'all okay y'all so i'm getting back into it so that was one number two was you keep playing the game of being the one of many kind of women rather than being the one and only and when i tell you that is literally so true like i haven't really talked to guys about this um, to really hear their perspective, but I really do feel like men categorize women in like, you know, somebody they can't play with and somebody that's serious and somebody that's going for anything. So it could just really be whatever. And like, you never want to be the latter. You always want to be the one that a man is like not playing games about. Like he knows he's not going to play with you because he just can't play with you. Because if he plays with you, you're going to be gone and he's going to lose you. So I always have been trying to strive to be that woman. But sometimes, you know, when your feelings overtake you or let me speak for myself. Sometimes when my feelings have overtaken me and I literally start not moving from logic and start moving emotionally which isn't a bad thing but sometimes i get easily overwhelmed i literally feel insane i've talked about this on my on my page <laughs> i've talked about this on my channel like i literally
but I'm working on it. I feel like the fact that I'm so transparent about this type of stuff is so refreshing because somebody that's even considering doing the work, like that's so important. If you meet a girl and if ladies, if you meet a guy that's not even conscious enough to know their negative characteristics, their bad traits, and then are aware so that they they are willing to work on it for the experience to be more harmonious like like i don't know i feel like that's rare to meet people that are like willing to actually do the work because a lot of people are stuck in their ways i've always been trying to grow so yeah and then the last thing that the article said and i'm gonna link this article it's so thorough like this lady was so thorough with it in the last part y'all the last part really got me the last part says you are not interacting playfully enough with men and to be honest with you like that is the truest shit ever like i literally told y'all i am not a flirty girl like i don't be flirting with guys i feel like the closest thing that that's me flirting is showing my interest by listening to a man speak or you know making small talk with him like that's me showing my interest but um yeah i don't know how to really be playful with men because it's just like naturally that's just not who i am so for me to try to get to that point it would take a lot of time work and effort which i'm willing to do but at the end of the day i always just think about it like if a guy doesn't even bring that out of me naturally sometimes i feel like it's just not meant to be because the person for you is going to be able to accept you how you are and those quirks about you, like for me, my serious nature, somebody is gonna be like, damn, like she's so serious, but that's literally who she is and I can respect it. And I know like I can make her like relax. I could probably break that wall down if I just give it time type shit. So that's another reason why I don't, like I wanna change, but then I'm like, it's like I want somebody that's not gonna play about me that's gonna be there even though it seems like I'm pushing him away and that's so true and I hate to sound like that because I don't want it to feel like it's unnecessarily hard for a guy to like get in to my heart but at the same time don't these niggas love a challenge like I thought that's the whole point it's not like I'm not willing it's just there comes a point where I need you to really like be on my ass like listen girl like we're doing this we're doing this or something like I don't know I need that kind of energy from a guy <laughs> and I don't get that from guys I feel like I come off like a hard ass because I am but I have a softer side it just has to be you know etched at knocked down to come out and I feel like that should be more rewarding for a man anyway. Like, again, like, don't y'all love a challenge? Um, something good isn't gonna be easy to get, seriously. And I do think a lot of people these days want that instant gratification, um, and they just think it's supposed to be easy. It's not supposed to be easy, it's not. We're all battling a lot of internal things and like traumas and, we all have issues like literally nobody's perfect and like it's just crazy for me because i've been so willing when i meet a guy that i feel like is my top pick i'm so willing to like i don't know just these are just things i've been thinking about but yeah hey y'all so not too much not too much because i know it's giving meek mill it's giving very much meek mill like but we're all black here anyway so what's up anyways i'm about to take me what i'm about to take my braids out really quick because i look like meek mill and i won't stand for that <laughs> i also have a dilemma because hold on here i'm about to put the light on i am actually furious because yesterday was sunday and i literally spent half the day editing the vlog you know to get it up today um, my plan was to have it uploaded yesterday so I could just make it live today, but my computer had other things in store for me. So there was something going on with my external hard drive and for the girls that's trying to be a content creator, you have a MacBook. Sometimes this thing just acts so glitchy where like it will tell me my external hard drive is full and it's like how can it be full when there's no way it's full? Like I know it's not full and I've already deleted stuff so there's no way it's full. Well. 
anyway so when that happened i was like let me just reset the computer by restarting it shutting it down just making sure everything is you know up to par when i turned the computer back on and i went back into imovie and i opened up my project why was my vlog nowhere to be found like everything that i worked on for six hours was totally gone dust vanished by like it was so insane because normally for something like that i would definitely cry <laughs> i would definitely start bawling but i didn't cry and that's good oh i should be taking my hair up i didn't cry because this actually has happened to me kind of multiple times and when it's happened i kind of just like it is what it is because like what am i gonna do like crying you know crying helps for certain things it can definitely help you feel oh 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 my gosh i hope i didn't cut my hair y'all i really actually my hair i don't know if my hair is this long <laughs> i don't know but um anyway y'all so yeah crying can help sometimes but like i was just so i don't even know i was just like so like whatever about it even though i was really upset because at the end of the day it's like I'm gonna have to re-edit this video either way and get this vlog up because it's content. Like I can't not post this stuff. I'm trying to be as consistent as possible because this is the one thing I've ever been consistent doing in my life. Like I can't even lie. You know, I went to college, I graduated, graduated from high school, all of that. But when it comes to like keeping up with something this much, besides having a job, like obviously if you have a job, like you have to go to your job. But like this content creation that I've been doing for YouTube, this is like the most consistent I've done for anything in my life, I feel. I mean, that's not fully true. Like when I when I'm dedicated to like, uh, you know, like the last thing I was consistent doing was like getting those cybersecurity certificates. Like I was very focused on that and I finished and I got the certificates. But I'm talking about like when it comes to like content creating, like this is the most consistent I've been for like my hobby for like a hobby. And I'm really proud of myself because it feels good. It feels gratifying to, you know, set a goal for myself and get it done week after week, even though I may not upload the video when I, you know, planned on it. The most important thing is because before I was waiting to post the video, just so it could go up on a Monday because that's what I told y'all. That's my posting schedule. But I stopped doing that and I just make sure to get it up at least in that week following that it was filmed because then why would y'all want to see a vlog that's like two weeks late you feel me it's not that up to date but anywho my camera's probably gonna cut off soon but yeah um i'm currently editing this vlog i'm gonna get it up probably won't be tonight probably be tomorrow but it was crazy y'all like there was only 15 minutes of footage left to edit and it just totally it blew me like i had to re-import everything but it is what it is and then i also felt motivated to start editing it again because i was watching like an old vlog from shana renee and she was posting about how um sometimes you experience like these roadblocks or like for her case she was talking about the devil and basically things to make you not keep up with your um your goals and stuff to make you feel defeated and i just felt so inspired by that because it's like i really want to be this like a youtuber so I'm not letting anything stop me like so what I have to start over with the editing I'll just do it again but yeah I just wanted to share that and yeah happy Monday hey y'all good morning so I just wanted to do a quick check in I'm eating my breakfast and y'all it's it's literally taking everything in me to like actually try to eat this I haven't started eating it but I know I like need to eat this immediately because I went to the gym and stuff yeah, I just wanted to check in with y'all because honestly, y'all, the eating part, is, this is probably like the hardest part for me. Like, I get full easily. I put some cilantro on it just to give it a little edge. It's actually good. But yeah.
really wanted to quickly show y'all my dinner tonight. I'm having some tofu cubes, um, so, uh, like a side of side of peppers and some avocado, and then I have it on top of some white rice. This is the Thai, the red Thai sauce from Trader Joe's, and then the way that I got it to be thicker because the sauce is really runny. I added some tahini, and y'all, tahini is so healthy for you like it has a lot of protein and it's getting me up there for my calorie count for today so just wanted to show y'all we are getting our meals in i do like the colors i think it looks really cool and yeah let's do a powder contour i'm not gonna do a cream contour because that's just a little bit too much for me it's too much for me and it's really like i was saying to y'all i need like a refresh of all my makeup products like i'm <laughs> I just wanted to make sure I checked in. I'm doing upper body. Hey y'all, so got my stripped package. This is a birthday gift to myself because birthday quality is really good and you already know me and a jumpsuit go together like this. So I might wear this tonight. I'm supposed to be going out to a little sold out dates you know, little Thursday night situation. So it's between this jumpsuit and a different jumpsuit that I have from Zara. So we will see. But yeah, I just wanted to let y'all know my package came. Oh, I also got my other package from Nine West. Um, let me just show y'all. I got the shoes in like the right here. But y'all, I got the shoes in a size nine and y'all the way that these shoes are so loose around my ankle i'm pissed off i'm literally so upset because i literally told y'all what the what the tee was now my heel isn't hanging out the back but now i just feel like they're actually too big like my foot feels like really wobbly in the shoe i don't like how it feels i low-key feel like i should have just kept the eight and a half and just kept it pushing because i technically am eight and a half eight in women's but i don't know now i'm at the point where like i'm so determined to be to a t for my birthday that now i have to look into finding something that's called a cobbler or like a shoemaker to like add additional holes into my into the strap of the heel because it's just like i don't understand whose foot is that fitting like why would an ankle strap be that loose like it doesn't make sense to me so i don't know but yeah just a little update so I just wanted to try on the strip bodysuit because I just I'm sorry like I'm just very I'm very pressed so this is what the bodysuit looks like and it's already given a body like get into the curvature of the hip and like the waistline like that's so cool like the fabric is cut in a way where it's gonna accentuate me so this is what she's giving possibly very cute and then on the tag it says this is what it says can y'all see that yeah the tag says good girls go to heaven and bad girls go everywhere okay so yeah i kind of just want to see what this looks like for later and also really cool the jumpsuit is reversible so you can wear it two ways which i think is really cool very very nice and compressing and i got a size small by the way oh who 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 this is what it's giving i don't have any boobs y'all the girls with the boobs when they had their boobs out it looked so cute but i have like no boobs so <laughs> this is how i saw one of the girls 
how she had it like this. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is really cute. And it like hugs your back. Cause the other bodysuit that I have from Zara, there's like an issue where like it's not all the way close. So this is very, this is very nice. It's what it looks like from the back. Yeah, this is definitely it. Definitely it. I'm thinking I really want to get some like statement necklaces. But if I'm going to wear this tonight, I would wear it very casually. Like I would be putting on like sneakers and stuff. I'm just trying to find that Anna Luisa chain that I have. I have my little Anna Luisa, like this gold chain. This would definitely be cute, you know, if I wanted to dress it up like that. But I really want to get some like statement jewelry where it's like, you know, it's not like something you wear on a normal, regular basis. It's like stuff you wear to pop out. So I definitely want to get some like chokers, like some choker type necklaces that do that because it would be super cute for like the neckline for something like this. But yeah she's definitely giving hey y'all so please ignore my hair i'm literally about to like lightly flat iron my hair because i'm going out tonight and i'm trying to get ready for that because i want to enjoy myself but i'll just be real like i was feeling a little anxious earlier about it because i'm going by myself and I mean, I don't have a problem going to things by myself, but like, I know like when I get there, I'm gonna be like, why the freak am I here? <laughs> but I'm trying to be super positive about it. Cause it's just like, I really wanted to go out this week. So, you know, I don't always have to go out with my friends. Like, I feel like that's the safe thing to do. And one of the um, things on my, you know, goals for the rest of this year, was to just do more things out of my comfort zone. So I definitely can't wait to go on like more solo dates and stuff. But um, yeah, I'm gonna be going to this little sold out dates, um, you know, one, two, at Wild Days a little bit later. And I think it'll be cool. Like my only expectation is just to enjoy myself. Like that's number one. I want to enjoy myself. I wanna have a good time. You know, if I make new friends, cool. If I don't make any friends, cool. I'm also hopefully trying to mingle, you know, like mingle and hopefully talk to people because I feel like if I'm gonna go out by myself, I can't just like be like, okay, like I'm by myself. Like, I think that's okay, but it's like, obviously for something like this, it's like people are gonna be like dancing, you know, probably mingling, like I wanna mingle. So I hope I am able to like practice my social skills and like, talking to strangers and like feeling okay with that and not feeling like everybody's looking at me like I'm crazy for being here by myself and I be trying to get myself to stop being so like anxious because to be honest with you like when you're a sane person you're not really thinking about anybody but yourself in a way but not like in a selfish way it's just like you wouldn't be thinking about other people thinking about you because that would be so like that's weird so as an adult, like I have to constantly remind myself about that. And it's something I still struggle with, I can't lie. Just, you know, a transparent, honest moment. But we're all human and we have our moments. So I'm not saying I feel like this two, four, seven, but definitely, you know, being out by yourself kind of heightens that feeling. I don't know. But yeah, I just wanted to give you a little update. I'm waiting on my sugar wax to cool down because I gotta get rid of my armpit hairs. And then, um, oh yeah, I forgot to tell y'all, I also finished with the work day, so. Yay, it's Thursday by the way. Happy Thursday. But yeah, I just wanted to give y'all a little update. Hey y'all, so don't mind me looking a mess. <laughs> yeah, anyways, I'm about to get dressed because I need to see how the makeup is gonna be looking with this and like then figure out my hair. But yeah, I'm putting on this bodysuit. No, this jumpsuit from Zara. As y'all see, tag still intact because haven't worn it but I feel like wearing this tonight so yeah I'm gonna wear it tonight um for the outfit details I did do a try on haul for this like two years ago yeah still have it so um I'll link that video below because I don't think they have this on their website anymore but 
yeah i'll show y'all what things are looking like okay oh my gosh sorry was that a nip slip <laughs> okay this is the bodysuit let me see i don't i'm not even that tall like this camera is literally at a height that's shorter than me so i don't understand why i always i'm not fitting into it my biggest thing is i don't want to have a camel toe because you know how that go that's not that's not it's not my cup of tea i don't know if i'm gonna be able to because one thing about doing this i don't want to hurt myself i already just felt like a cramp coming oh hi this is very cute um the only thing about this bodysuit is it's not like i showed y'all earlier the stripped bodysuit how it like hugs your back like this part is like what's happening like that doesn't that's why i'm trying to pull it up but also again i don't want a camel toe and then i don't understand what these stains are hey y'all so i'm currently trying to do my hair i'm not gonna put a ponytail on it i just want to like get it as slicked back as i can like a little middle part situation that just got right in my eye and it literally burned it Ugh. all right let me try not to rub it oh my gosh that hurts so bad like what the fuck i have such sensitive eyes it's just insane but also i don't understand why that just got in my eye like truthfully make things as smooth as possible if my hair could actually have like the ends clipped and stuff i would wear my hair straight you feel me like out but it's just not gonna stay looking like this i don't feel okay button is in it would be cute to do a braided ponytail but probably won't do that either okay now i'm gonna try to get it fluffy i'm doing all silver accessories tonight so that's what we have and maybe i might pull a piece out from the front i don't know i never do that because i know how easily my hair can frizz putting on my casio watch i need to clean it it looks disgusting but yeah i'll show y'all when i'm ready to leave because i gotta do my makeup okay y'all so i'm gonna try to lower this a little bit more so I can show y'all how things are looking and like what I'm actually wearing. Hopefully I can get like a mirror picture because I need to get a thumbnail, but I'm going to be wearing my New Balances. They're old as hell, but we're going with like the cooler colors. So we got the blue New Balances. These are actually reflective. And then my silver bag from Mango. And again, the body or the jumpsuit is Zara. So let me just bring this down a little bit more. Like how much more can we go? But yeah. Just imagine this in the bag. But yeah, minimal makeup. Um, honestly, just put a little concealer, did my brows, put a little powder, blush, mascara, very simple. Um, accessories, earrings from Macy's, necklace, and a Louisa. And yeah, that's gonna be it. Watch Casio. And yeah, <laughs> wish me luck. <laughs>
gosh y'all i totally forgot to check in i've been home for like probably 20 minutes at this point i'm gonna try to be brief i'm literally i'm so tired i'm just sitting on the ground right now because i need to take my outside clothes off and obviously decompress but y'all i went out tonight honestly it was super fun um you know before i went i felt super like nervous beforehand because i was literally thinking about how i hope i don't run into anybody i know it's really a small world i just i was just like, i hope i don't run into anybody know when i tell y'all i literally saw so many people that i know and um i was just like what the hell anywho i was really like nervous beforehand because this was like the first time that i went out by myself in a while like just by myself for like a social type of outing and honestly there wasn't anything to worry about like i wish i could have like had my body relax better you know eventually i calmed down but like i hate the anticipation of being in like a setting like that where there's a lot of people um and i'm gonna be alone i don't know i just get so anxious and i literally felt it in my stomach like my stomach just felt ugh, it was so bad but i forced myself to you know get through it just because i just feel like if i don't put myself out there like how will i overcome certain things like you'll never overcome a fear of something if you don't make yourself you know experience or like meet it head on honestly i'm just remembering back on the maury show <laughs> when those people had like those irrational fears of a bar of a grocery store <laughs> Mary, you won't let go of me! Oh, yeah. Bring out the olive! <laughs> and like, they would bring the stuff out and they would literally go crazy. But then after they got it done with, like, they weren't really scared. So, all I'm saying is... At a certain point, I did relax. Like, I felt, like, calmer after I had met this one girl. Um, I asked her if I could like be with her because it turns out she actually came there by herself as well um, and like we connected briefly and me and her were just together for like the first half of the night and um, it was pretty cool like she was really nice um, and I felt less awkward because I met her but um, overall it was literally so crazy though like y'all I had seen this guy that I was briefly talking to on Hinge there and I definitely made eye contact with him like twice and then I just felt like he was staring at me because at one point I saw him like on some like couch and like I just I kind of like in my peripheral could see him like I don't know maybe he wasn't maybe I'm just crazy but um yeah the funny thing about that guy was just how um <laughs> Like we literally talked for like a very short time and then I just never heard back from him. Um, I did try to reach out to him, but like he literally just ignored me and like next thing I know, I didn't see him on the app anymore. So I just can only assume he unmatched us, but it was cool. I didn't say anything to him because why would I say anything to him? Like he literally removed me from his life. So it was like, I'm not saying hi to niggas that removed me from their life. So there's that um because i don't need to talk to them like if they want to come up to me and talk to me like they could talk to me i don't have a problem with that but it's just like if somebody deliberately removed you from their life we don't got shit to talk about but anywho um yeah i saw a lot of guys that i don't even want to say i know them but like i've definitely seen them before and then oh my gosh y'all i met this guy oh my gosh he was so cute um and like we talked we talked we exchanged numbers but i just i just know me it's not going anywhere because he has a kid and like i'm still on that wave of like i'm not talking to a man with a kid like he showed me a picture of his kid on his phone he was like yeah that's my kid but before it got to that point um we were like talking and it was really cool he was very nice and also he looks like he caught my attention because he looks like party next door but like 
let me just make sure party next door actually looks like what he looked like to me because at the let me see party party next door yeah he kind of looked like party next door a little bit um just a little bit because he had dreads but yeah he was super cute but when he basically told me he had a kid i i was really just like damn like another one bites the dust because it's just like i don't know for me personally i'm still young i don't have a kid so i'm not talking to a guy with kids like he has one kid but i don't care i'm not i'm not talking to a guy with kids because i'm just gonna be thinking about how like all the time that we're spending with each other or something like you should be with your kid like i just feel like when you have a kid you need to be with your kid and like that just sounds weird because it's like <laughs> i definitely feel like when you become a parent like you should still have your own identity and your own life but his kids seem young like i don't know i feel like there's different dynamics that go into it because it's like when they're younger it's like I don't know like that's just me like that's my thoughts and opinions about a guy having a kid and trying to talk to me like I just don't want to do it I feel like I want to be selfish with my man you feel me so yeah definitely feel like I you know kind of mingled tonight with some guys which was pretty cool like I know I said I definitely wanted to meet people in real life being in conversation with guys um I will say what I observed about men tonight is just how I don't think it's all of them but some of them be bold as hell like some man came out of nowhere and just like touched me he was like i think i know you like like why are you touching me like unhand me right now and it's like i don't know you i don't know you it's just like why are you touching me like why are you touching me i don't fucking know you niggas and then i was talking to a guy tonight and um he was doing it like he kept trying to like bring me closer to him like by touching my waist and it's just like i was purposely not standing directly next to him so he would stop it but i do have to take accountability and say like damn i should have been like can you stop touching me but sometimes in those situations like girls like yeah yeah i get it like yeah i've been in my shoes like yeah i know like it can be sometimes like men don't like i feel like they don't care about non-verbal cues because they're just entitled on their own so although i was purposely like trying to inch away from him he kept trying to touch me it's just like he's not reading the room and it's just like i should have just walked away but yeah i don't know i'm gonna stop here my camera's about to die so that's it y'all i hope y'all have a good night and i'm not going to the gym <laughs> hey y'all um it's me show i'm here so i just wanted to bruh and how come i can't tell how much footage i have time i have left what's going on no what is going on hold on y'all hey y'all so i'm just coming to y'all live because i wanted to be so transparent and you know share what i feel like i'm currently going through right now um, I feel like it's literally PMS. That's why it feels so much more intense. And so anywho, I just feel like overwhelmed a little bit emotionally, like right now, which is just so annoying, but I'm trying to be compassionate to myself. I'm trying to have self-compassion. I'm trying to have grace for myself because I've talked about this so much, um, about how intensely my emotions can be sometimes. And how i just feel like i feel everything so much stronger than like the average person and um ugh. and sometimes i literally just feel like out of place because of it because i just feel like in my head when i'm talking about these things i feel like yes everybody experiences their emotions and stuff but like y'all ugh. sometimes i'm just like what like what is it but anywho, um, I'm not going to beat myself down about it because this is just what it is. Like, I, I'm not going to beat myself up for it. Like, I'm human. And self-acceptance is, like, the key to, you know, having authentic relationships with people. So it's like, the more I can actually feel my feelings, the less uncomfortable I'll feel when it comes to having to express myself to people, which is something I struggle with at times and I was reading some articles earlier and one thing I want to say is if y'all don't know anything about me like oh one thing I'm gonna do is google everything like I literally have asked google so many questions about so many different things when it comes to just 
just ran it could be random stuff but i'm literally always googling something and um earlier i forgot what i specifically put in the search engine but i know it had to do with like the emotional things and whatever and what was it telling me dang i feel like i'm losing my train of thought right now but anywho um I'm just trying to like make sure that I'm being in tune with myself because I feel like that's so important. Like today I really just felt out of whack. I'm just like, I feel like I, I'm trying to feel my intuition and like let it guide me. And another thing that I've talked about is how I really want to make every decision and every experience that I have with somebody, I want it to come from a place of love because I feel like love is really the one thing that can make things better. and as cliche as that sounds like it heals it encourages it inspires and i need that like i don't want to be like a hard bitch all the time i don't like i want to be soft and i want to just be so dainty and feminine and just kind of be clueless about stuff sometimes just because it's just like why would i care about that stuff like i don't know i feel like i'm kind of being vague but yeah all i have to say is yesterday was very necessary for me although because i told you i was like nervous to be going to the little event and stuff it was so needed for me to do this um excuse me so i ended up meeting a girl i don't know if i i don't know how much of what i talked about last night is gonna stay because I feel like I was just rambling, but basically I did meet a girl and I was hanging out with her for a little bit for like the first half of the night. And then she ended up leaving. And then I still stayed because I just felt like I was trying to get out of my comfort zone. I was trying to really, you know, be in the moment and try to be present, even though to be honest with you, I don't know how present I really was because I feel like when you're present, your memory should be really clear. And like my memory is clear of last night because I was literally sober. Like, of course it's clear, but it's just like when you have anxiety, sometimes it causes you, it causes you to get like, you kind of like dissociate and like, I don't know. It's like I was there, but was I really there, you know? So anywho, I don't know. That was just eye opening for me because I feel like in order for me to overcome these fears and like, you know, these social things, I need to put myself right in these situations to like grow and honestly being out by yourself like it really wasn't the worst thing ever like it really feels worse than it, what it is because I was kind of like looking around and I saw people were there by themselves like or maybe they weren't there by themselves but at some point some of these people were kind of just standing by themselves and so that gives you an opportunity to start talking to somebody mingling and um so i actually saw a guy that i went on a date with there actually too anywho i saw him and i said hi to him i also saw the guy that i've talked about that i was like trying to move on from i don't know if he saw me but um i don't know when i saw him, i was like do i say something to him like do i go over there but then at the same time i was like maybe i shouldn't so i kind of just like left it alone but i don't know i just felt like sometimes you gotta just let things be how they are and so that's why i didn't say anything but it's cool because it's just like i don't know but um i definitely know i'm gonna keep trying to like go to these little events because i see the same people a lot so it's like duh like i need to like i don't know i'm kind of bad at small talk too because the guy that created this whole thing like i remember him specifically from tiktok and i introduced myself to him when i went to his first event last year and he's been just so nice ever since like he's so nice every time i see him he always says hi i give him a hug but i kind of want to make more like conversation with him because i feel like that's how you build connections and i'm trying to network as well like i'm really trying to like you know know as many people as i know that may know somebody else that can help me uplift my life in a certain capacity you know so but anyways y'all I don't have that much more time on my camera. I need to write in my journal some more because I feel like, again, like there's some more crying that I need to get out. And I don't know, I'm just honestly thinking about like, what do I need to do to make myself feel good and be happy and, you know, get closer to where I wanna be and, and that kind of thing. And I don't know, I literally just feel like, ugh. 
this is real life though this is real life and then tomorrow i'm supposed to be mini golfing with my sister so i'll try to vlog that i also wanted to talk about how um in my last vlog ugh, i literally this is my last time mentioning me being awkward and like whatever because i also found another article today and it was saying like if you keep identifying with that as and then putting that as your identity then like you're never stop thinking that's what you are and it's just like i mean while sometimes experiences can be awkward or like i've definitely referred to myself as awkward or whatever i'm gonna stop identifying with being awkward i think i already had this type of moment on my channel like sometime last year but seriously like i'm so dead ass because i don't know like I don't know i just feel like my brain makes everything so much worse than it is but yeah i'm gonna stop saying that and i'm gonna stop saying that i'm shy and all this other stuff like even though i can be shy sometimes it's like i'm still a confident person in my ability and i just have my moments because i'm human and stuff so i just wanted to say that too like if i'm gonna talk about those things i'm gonna say but i'm working on it because i also saw another article was mentioning you can say those things, but you also have to acknowledge that you're working towards stuff. Just like when you apply for a job and they're asking you, like, do you have this experience? And, and if you don't, you can be honest and be like, but I'm actually taking some classes so that I can, you know, understand better type shit. So I am working toward all the stuff that I mentioned about myself every day, honestly, because these are things that I know affect how I show up in my life and for other people. So... I just want to be the best well-rounded version of myself but it's like it's a constant it's a daily thing and i don't care how easy somebody's life is i'm never going to be looking at them like oh they're perfect because you don't know what people are doing to maintain their sense of like stability within themselves like there's so much that you have to do and it's it's hard work so if you feel like you're where i'm at or something like that like we are doing just fine and i'm saying that to even encourage myself because i just feel like i don't know like sometimes i just feel ugh. hey y'all so i'm currently going to coastal flats to get something to eat um before me and my sister go mini golfing so yeah
just finished mini golf. Hey y'all, so we're officially leaving. It's hot as shit. And how was your how was your time? Um it was nice. You heard her here, folks. Um, this was my sister's first time, you know, doing it, and she actually beat me. So I lost by 11 whole points. Not one of my proudest, not one of my proudest moments, but thank you. Uh, not my proudest moments, because I normally win. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, no. <laughs> Hi. I don't remember how much I vlogged when we first got down here, but we were in Tyson's and it's so pretty here, y'all. Like, it's so pretty. And I remember when I came here, it was so cold and now it's like summer, so. I hate to be ending the vlog in the same spot as the last two or three vlogs at this point now. I'm so sorry, but this week was so hectic for me. Like, I'm literally so exhausted. I'm so tired. Um, I've been baby, or not babysitting. I've been dog sitting for my friend's um aunt so i keep having like wake up so early to go over there to their house to walk the dog feed the cat and then from there i will be like going to the gym because it's just like there's no reason for me not to go to the gym because it's like right there so i've just been so tired and yeah that's why this vlog is going up mad late but better late than never like a, a vlog is better than no vlog so i hope y'all enjoy and I can't wait to see on my next video. Things are winding down. We're getting close to my birthday stuff. So that's going to be so much fun. But yeah, thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye. <laughs>